Everyone who follows football knows what a penalty is because it's been part of the game since the time you started watching it and many many years before that as well. But no matter how subtle the penalty may appear to us today, it wasn't always the case. Like many rules and regulations of the sport, the penalty too was added on and not a part of the sport from the very beginning. Before I move to the rest of the video, I want to say thank you for 1000 subscribers. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing and overall supporting the channel. The goal is to get to 2000 subscribers in 2020 and despite what's going on in the world now, we're more than halfway there. If you are new here, subscribe to the channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We've got awesome content there for you as well. Now to the main video. The penalty kick was invented in the year 1890 by an Irish footballer called William McGann. McGann was first a goalkeeper himself who played for Milford FC in the very first season of the Irish League. However, it was a member of the Irish Football Association who was pivotal in making the idea of a penalty kick one of the laws of the game. Defenders were finding it easy to stop oncoming attackers from scoring a goal by fouling them close to the goal, that is the 12-yard area, which we now know as the penalty box. The proposal to make the penalty kick a law was to prevent this very dirty trick used by defenders. The proposal was accepted and it became a part of the rules as a rule number 13 in 1891. The law read, if any player shall intentionally trip or hold an opposing player or deliberately handle the ball within 12 yards from his own goal line, the referee shall, on appeal, award the opposing side a penalty kick to be taken from any point 12 yards from the goal line under the following conditions. All players, with the exception of the player taking the penalty kick and the goalkeeper, shall stand behind the ball and at least 6 yards from it. The ball shall be in play when the kick is taken. A goal may be scored from a penalty kick. When the penalty rule was just introduced, the kick could be taken from anywhere along a line, parallel to the goal and 12 yards away from it. It was only in 1902 when the penalty spot was introduced and it's still used today. In 1937, the D Act was introduced, which forced the players other than the spot kick taker to stand behind the arc. Up until then, players could stand anywhere they liked on the penalty line, which often made it confusing and harder for the goalkeeper to concentrate. Another important alteration which was made to the rule was that the goalkeeper was not allowed to move off his line. This was not always the case and was changed thanks to a certain really focus who charged forward to intimidate the attacker any time penalty was taken. In the past, tight games used to be decided by either a coin toss or a replay. But coin tosses are unfair as it is attributed solely to luck and replays take more time, are physically more taxing on players and also cost more to be organized. A penalty shootout, therefore, is a great way to combat these difficulties while obtaining a fair result too. The idea of the modern day shootout is credited to the Israeli Yosef Dagan in 1968. The International Football Association Board, IFAB, although not entirely satisfied, adopted the proposal on 27 June 1970 after some discussions with the Israeli FA and Malaysian FA's referee committee. Penalties and penalty shootouts have become such an integral part of the game these days that it is close to impossible to imagine it without them. It brings more balance and fairness to the game by eliminating certain ambiguities that were prevalent in the past, not to mention the drama and the adrenaline rush it has to. Imagine how different the Italy vs France 2006 World Cup finals would have been if not for the penalty shootouts, or the Manchester United vs Chelsea thriller in the European Cup Finals of 2008, which is still talked about so much, or even the iconic Ivory Coast vs Ghana penalty shootout in the AFCON which went down to the very end. Think of the thousands of penalty decisions during the 90 minutes of a game. So many matches and tournaments could have had different results had this rule not been in place. The game is much richer thanks to this rule and let's not forget the chance it gives us to scream in anticipation or revolt when a player goes down in the box. That's the end guys, thanks for watching and thanks once again for 1000 subscribers. If you enjoyed it, let me know what your favorite match with penalty shootouts is. Be safe, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.